Hello, in the first part of this tutorial I'm going to show you how to create interlocking circles. First open a new document, get rid of the fill and make sure the stroke is on top. Now press the letter L for the ellipse tool or select it from the toolbar panel and draw a circle. With the circle still selected press the letter R for the rotate tool or select it from the toolbar panel. Now holding down the ALT key, click in the middle between the center and the edge of the circle to set the rotation point. Type 120 for the angle and click copy. Then press the CTRL and D keys on your keyboard to make one more copy. Next we will set guidelines in the intersection of each circle. This will help us later with applying a gradient. First select everything and then press the CTRL and R buttons on your keyboard to show the ruler. Now click in this corner to select both rulers, hold and drag. Where you are dragging your mouse press the CTRL key as well. Position your cursor over the center of the first circle and release your mouse. Then release the CTRL key. Select everything again, click on the left ruler and drag it to the center of the next circle. Finally, drag two more guides to the center of the bottom circle. Let's hide the guides and the ruler. Next select everything, open the stroke panel, choose the align stroke to center and increase the weight to 80 points. In the next several steps we will copy these circles by offsetting them outward. First let's convert them into shapes. Go to Object and select Expand. Make sure the fill and the stroke are checked and click OK. Then go to Object again, select Path and Offset Path. Check the preview box, highlight the offset number and using the up or down arrow keys on your keyboard adjust the offset. Now select the fill and let's change its color to pink. Next select everything, then go to the shape builder tool and now we will unite some of the parts and delete the other ones to get this effect. First let's choose a different color. To unite shapes together, click, hold and drag across any parts that need to be connected. It is a good idea to have a sketch for reference. Let's skip this part and connect these segments. Now select a different color and let's create the second circle. Choose another color and finish the last circle. Next we will delete the unused pink and black segments. First let's zoom in. Now switch to the Shape Builder tool and while holding down the ALT key click, hold and drag to delete one or a few shapes at once. Be careful not to touch the other shapes. To move the artboard Press and hold down the spacebar, then click, hold and drag. Now let's delete the rest of the segments. Zoom out and we are done with the first part. If you press the CTRL, SHIFT and D keys on your keyboard you can see how it will look on a transparent background. In the second part of this tutorial I will show you how to add a radial gradient to these interlocking circles. Thanks for watching. Bye bye.